All right, Brandon Williams, what's good? What's up, man? What's up? How's your day been? Been hanging there. My phone only blowing up, so yeah, I get used to that. Okay, so today's been a big day for you. You committed to Wake Forest today. What was that like? Uh, I've been thinking about committing them for a couple of weeks now, but Virginia Tech was coming hard, so I just had to go with my gut, talk with my family, and we chose Wake. So, what made you decide Wake Forest? Uh, they're overall a great school. I can get a great education while playing power five football, and it gives me a chance to play right away when I get there. Is it true that VTU was the second school to decide between? Yes, it was. Uh, I built the, I built a great relationship with Coach Tap, Coach Tierlink, Coach um, Fuente, and I just thank them for recruiting me. So, when did your recruitment start to like blow up? Uh, it started to blow up. Like a couple weeks after football season ended, I picked up an offer. Like, cause I already had Charlotte, Coastal, and Wake, and then after the season, I got East Carolina and Georgia State, and then it just started to blow up from there. Okay, so you had a great junior year. What was it like in like all of those camps that you've been to? Uh, they're fun. I got to meet some people that I didn't know before, and I made a lot of friends. So, what was your junior year? And your perspective like for you? Uh, I feel like me overall had a great season, but I wish we could have finished as a team better. What was it like interviewing with rivals in 24-7 sports today? Uh, it was an honor just to get to talk to them because they get some of the great, some of the five stars, four stars, and all of them. It was just great just being able to talk to them. So what was your first big offer? Well, my first big offer was from Wake. They offered me November 2nd, 2019. And ever since then, Coach Cohen has been communicating with me every day. That's the D-line coach. He's just been talking to me. And yeah, he's been on my butt, so I had to commit. So I've been reading a few articles, and it says that you like to play defense over offense. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. I will be playing defense again at Wake Forest. Okay. So when did you choose to narrow down your schools and set a commitment date? Uh, well, with quarantine, I was thinking about committing either way before the season. But since we couldn't go on visits, I chose to commit earlier. Okay. So what has this recruiting process been like for you, personally? Uh, it's been fun. I like to meet. I've been able to meet a lot of different people, different types of coaches, different types of schools, and it's just been an honor. What was the, What was your favorite camp that you've been to so far? Uh, my favorite camp was probably the Clemson camp, the overnight trip. Okay. Really fun. I got to meet a lot of good talent. I got to meet a lot of great players. Yeah. What was it like um, going on visits and unofficial and official visits throughout uh, last season? Uh, it was fun. Really, it was really fun. You got to meet the players that are there, players that are coming, players that they want. You got to meet the coaches. They had great food. And it was just a great overall atmosphere. And all the fans, they loved you, even though, even if you weren't going to the school. They all treated you like family. Um, what was it like at the USC camp? Uh, it was a summer? fun camp. It was a fun camp. I feel like I've gotten better. The coaches really coached me well that were there. And I was able to meet a lot of great players as well. How has Corona um, stopped you from going on, I guess, certain camps or visits? Well, I had already had around three or four camps planned to go on junior days and April visits. So I was going to end up taking my official in April to go to Wake. What well, was it official, but it was overnight. So when that got canceled, and then they canceled all the camps, and I was going to go to the Under Armour camp, too. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, so it was pretty rough. But, you know, it's in God's hand. Yeah. So if there's anything that you could tell the, uh, to younger athletes out there, well, what's, what's a few things you could say? Uh, just keep pushing. If people tell you that you can't do it, just work hard and prove them wrong. That's what I've had to do.
What uh, what all visits have you taken so far? Well, I took a visit to – I took a visit to Wake, VTech. I was going to take one to um, App State, East Carolina. Yeah, and I had a couple more planned, but I didn't have a chance to go. And I took a junior day to Carolina. Yeah. Do you feel like uh, with all this COVID-19 going on that you, you could still attend some of those camps possibly? Uh. I'm pretty slim, but if it happens, it just happens. But if it does it, I'll still be working hard and getting better every day. What's a goal for you coming into your senior season? Uh, first, I want to win a championship state title. And I also want to get all state and be able to play in the Shambo. Those are some good goals. When were you ranked a three star? When, when was that exactly? Uh, it was close to the end of the season when I first started. That's when I first started looking at it. So I don't know when they put it up, but I got home and my dad was, was like really excited. He was like going rivals, going rivals, and then I went on there and I was a three star and I was really excited and blessed. Okay. What are some things you've learned from your coaches and mentors the past three seasons at Thurman? Uh, that you gotta you're gonna face that. Adversity in life, you just gotta keep pushing and you will reach your goals. How long have you planned to commit on your birthday? Uh, I, I was thinking about it during the season, but then I kind of changed because I wanted to be able to still go to visits and camps and all that stuff. So I was gonna end up doing it later on in June or July. And then when COVID 19 hit, I was like, since I'm not going on any visits, I might as well just come in on my birthday. Are you? Do you still plan to like be big into basketball still? Now that you made a football commitment. Well, I'm probably going to talk to Coach Clawson, head coach at Wake, and my other coaches at Wake, and see if they really do. I have to play. Do they want me to play, or do they want me to just train and give me workouts to? get ready for college okay okay so how have you been staying in shape through, uh, throughout this coronavirus recently oh well usually I just go my, I have a yard and I just run in my yard and then I have a rack so I do my most of my lifting stuff on my porch so do you and your team often meet throughout zoom uh, just about every day uh, not really Usually, well, we met this week with our D-line coaches, so we could teach the new guys to play. So we plan on doing that every week, and I make sure I reach out to Coach Hill every week, make sure everything's going good with the team. But we do talk as a team on group chats and stuff every day. Okay. How has spring practice uh, being canceled affected you and your team? Uh, it gave us an early head start to build chemistry. So with that being gone, we're mostly going to have to, like, be able to build chemistry more quicker than how it will usually be. With this new region alignment, are you looking forward to it? Are you excited? I'm very excited, very excited. Face new teams, different competition. But we still want to win the title. So cool. whatever we got to do. Do you see yourself playing both sides of the ball again this season? Oh, I will be playing both sides of the ball. Okay, okay. I'm very excited. So you've been playing varsity two years straight now, correct? Yes, two years, two years. Okay, okay. What for all the younger athletes out there? What does it feel like to commit and finally get the recruiting process stress over with? Oh, it feels great. Just want to take a deep breath and just relax now. But it's even more when the schools actually you meet all the teammates and then they create group chats and meeting all new people, different coaches. So it's still not a totally break yet. I have to still have to meet everybody, meet my future teammates. All right. Before we go, is there anything else you want to say? Uh, just shout out to Cam. Yeah. That's about it. All right, BJ Williams, congrats on the commitment, man. Happy 17th, and we're out of here.
Appreciate it.